you work hard to build build a business and keep it going. It goes up in smoke. Only on KCCI, a state center man is grappling with the loss of his woodworking warehouse. A fire tore through Thanksgiving Day. His family has been in the business for seven generations. The fire comes months after an even more heartbreaking tragedy. KCCI's Ophelia Jacobson sat down with the man who has a message of love that emanated from loss. An entire life's worth of work. Up in smoke. And a seven generation legacy of business went up in flames Thanksgiving Day. It's hard to look at your stuff, to look at your life's work. This is footage from State Center Police as crews work to put the fire out. Every single day for the past 20 years, Barry York has had the same commute from his home. We had shelves up on the walls. To his woodwork warehouse. Now, when he steps inside here, he sees nothing but. Two, 250,000. Thousands of dollars. You know. In damage. A lot. A lot of charred pieces of equipment, debris, and unfinished projects. We assembled on this bench. There was a bench here we planed on back there. Barry has gone through a lot this year. He lost another part of his business yeah, and more screen. importantly, That's his true. family, his son and business partner, Bruce York. Bruce was killed in a car crash as he was driving to the warehouse to work on July 6th. I loved him very much. He was 43 years old. And I miss him a lot. Bruce did a lot around the shop. He was eventually going to take over the business. He was, he was becoming more and more just the lead guy. I was trying to back out of it. Barry's family, he says, is what gets him out of bed every morning, especially Bruce's eight-year-old son, who now doesn't have a dad. And Bruce's little boy needs me. He's, he's a great kid. But if Barry has learned anything from the past year, it's the importance of telling the people around you that you love them and doing it a lot. If you have a chance to hug them, tell them you love them, do it. Because it may not ever happen again. And KCCI reached out to the State Center Fire and Police Department. No one was available to talk at the time. Barry tells me someone will be there Thursday to investigate what started the fire. Ben?